How's it going guys? Today I will show you how to make a module engine. That's right, we have new update and new type of the engine. So, I'm not gonna go through all the parts. You can do that by yourself. I'm just gonna give you a quick principle how this thing works. So, you want your crankshaft. That's the first thing. Second, you want your module cylinder. You want a engine drive uh, uh, yeah all right we, we can start with this we don't need any much more for now so let me quickly create a base so we're gonna put two we want only four so let's give it the last two we're gonna make a four cylinder engine so we want to place the crank make sure when you're doing placing the crank is facing this way that's how you join it together so we're going to use four then we want to put the cylinders on any of the silver slots you can put it anywhere you can put as many as you want but if we cannot if we connect two cylinders together they're not going to work but if we put them in line this is classed as one module what that means every engine needs a air it needs fuel it needs coolant and it needs exhaust that's the four principles for this engine to work so by making a second module on the side they will need a separate fuel separate air coolant and, and exhaust but by using there we are my engine module manifold if we connect to just like that now whatever this module on top gets the one on the bottom will get the same so that's how you connect all the sides together you don't have to put on every single one of them as long as one module is connected to the second one with one joint they both will receive the same amount of fuel same amount of air and so on well, we're just going to make it basic so we're going to keep it on top okay so next what we want to do we want to put down yourself a module drive on the, on the front and then we want to connect yourself a engine starter so you can push start or key start the engine by using the engine starter also we want to place down a engine fluid pump Let's put down the other side. Make sure you line up the belt with the engine. Obviously, make it, you know. Okay, so the pump has got a fluid out and fluid in. This pump is okay to pump from a small tank, not very big stuff. Since you put bigger stuff, you you can actually use a. You can use any of these pumps to actually pump water into the engine. It doesn't have to be used belt powered or nothing like that you can put this on the top of your large tank somewhere at the back and pump the water straight into the engine okay so let's make it nice and easy next thing we want we want to use the engine coolant manifold so that's what actually is going to send the water into the coolant well they send the coolant into the engine so let's quickly pipe that up together i'm gonna make a little t-junction here uh, actually no we're not, we're not gonna make it not here i'm gonna make one just here okay just like that Okay, let's give ourselves a radiator. I'm gonna use the three by three electric one. You don't have to. Okay, so placing right there. Uh, actually, if we install. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, that will do. So it doesn't have to be pretty, you just have to work. I'll make this a little bit too small, I think. <laughs> the space. I'm going to use the small tank for the water. Okay. 
boom, just like that. Make sure you change it into fresh water. We don't want to put seawater into the engine because it will kill it eventually. Uh, okay, so next thing, the best way to get this actually running and working, you want two air per one fuel. So what that means, you want two air modules. So we'll make the fuel to air ratio is going to be two to one. And then we want a one fuel pump. We're going to put it here. Okay, so for the air modules, you want to put the air filter. One there, one there. Or you can just join them by the pipe and have one. Or you can extend it with normal pipe and put it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's go tank. We're gonna put a, another little tank in here just for the distant demonstration, just like that. And then we want to use the exhaust. So make sure you're using the module exhaust manifold. And let's just spin it around and use the exhaust at the end, just like that. Okay, we're pretty much done here. So we have exhaust, we have the coolant, we have air, and we have fuel. All four principles. Just thinking well, so we can also add a alternator, which will charge up our battery. Let's scroll all the way down. Uh, Star motor, where is it? Engine alternator. So, boom, underneath there, out of the way. Okay, now let's wire the engine up. So, what we're gonna use first, let's put a battery down. I'm gonna put a nice small battery just behind it. Uh, let's make a little control panel. I'm gonna do it on this side. Okay. Okay, so now we have a wound level. One there, one there. That one is for the clutch. So we also want to put down the little clutch with the engine. We want a. I want two buttons. So one's going to be toggle well that is in my case because I'm gonna use one for radiator so let's place a blue one here and we're gonna use a star button here just like that mm, just double check it make sure we have everything okay now we want to wire everything up so go to the battery Okay, and then we want the top button to run this. We want the bottom button to use the starter motor. And throttle, we want to put on all two airs and one fuel. Also, make sure you change this to sensitivity something like 20 and 15, doesn't really matter, so it's nice and low. to this uh, let's just uh, put something in the end of it so we can see it spin there we go just put a little wheel there and this is pretty much it so now let's spawn it oh yeah fire extinguisher had it one catch fire before so I'm going to click this on, which puts the ray data on. Let's put this on like five. And there we are. We're running. So we have nice little... Did he stall on me? He did. Okay, so...
Anyway, so this is your functional engine here. So we can give it a little bit. Put that revving. Drop that. Drop the clutch. Nice and powerful little compact engine. the power and that's it ladies and gentlemen that's how you make yourself a little module engine so yeah the best fuel to air ratio is two to one so if you're gonna have two fuel you wanna have four air and it will always work nice and, and comfortably. So I'm going to show you a quick example of my big one. Okay, so this is my uh, the biggest one, the biggest modules you can use, which is the five by five. So as you see here, I have uh, three fuel pumps, two, six air. Uh, on this side I forgot to close that up I can't believe that was even not well let me just quickly fix that <laughs> oh my god I didn't close that up that's why I was getting no pressure with the engine was staying cool anyway <laughs> let me just do a quick adjustment so I can actually see what's going on with it Put the f put the fuel pressure there, and then run that into here. There we go. Jeez, I can't believe I've done that. So yes, we have a exhaust here. We have a few starter motors to help crank this baby up quicker. A few alternators. And that's it, yeah, same thing. So we have water here with a liquid big heat sink. Same principle. So we have a big pump pumping water into here, sending into there. Gets hot, comes back out, goes back into here, cools down, and it basically rotates. This is the fuel tank. And yeah, so we want to start the pumps and all the gauges. Start the engine, drop the clutch on it, spin those big wheels real fast. This engine's got an insane amount of torque. There we go, now we're getting pressure. Okay, you can, if you get this bang on zero, the fuel, uh, fuel economy is going to be great and we still have the same performance. We're spinning those two big wheels like it's no one's problem. Also, you can use gear boxes with this and a flywheel to obviously have spin bumps faster, slower, make aircraft and vehicles. We well, yeah, that that will do for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop us a like. And if you want to learn something else, let me know what you want to know in the comment section below. And then surely I will crack it down for you. I'll catch you later.